And I said, Ken's will never go for marijuana. And she says, honey, it's not marijuana. Cannabis sativa, the plant, is not illegal. What is controlled is marijuana. And over time, as we use cannabis to help with these conditions, we can stop using the other medications from Big Pharma that have numerous side effects. When individuals start to educate themselves, find out more and more about what industrial hemp is, it's a win-win. When Henry Ford built his vehicle, his, his, his vehicle, part of that vehicle was made out of industrial hemp. The Declaration of Independence was printed on paper, industrial hemp paper. And as far as cancer goes, there are cannabinoid receptors on cancer cells. When the cannabinoids bind to those receptors, it does three things. It stops or it induces apoptosis, cell death. It tells the cell to kill itself. It prevents the development of blood vessels to the tumor, so it cuts off its supply. And the most important, it prevents metastasis. So this is the benefit of cannabis for tumors as well as for the other conditions we touched upon. With a Freedom of Information request from Vote Hemp, actually found that the DEA was colluding with the Department of Ag to say that CBD was illegal. The DEA is governed by federal law. It can't make law on its own. The DEA is actually advising the local law enforcement to come in because they have no money because they were prevented, prohibited, not only in the omnibus bill, but in the latest spending bill. We were in North Dakota a couple days ago, and they raided this woman's health store because they believed CBD was illegal. I had a woman call in tears, and she said, this is the only product that stops my dog from having seizures. What am I gonna do now? Please, are you sure you can't sell me a bottle? But I can't believe the DEA is spending our tax dollars illegally to raid these places and then illegally telling these people that CBD is a controlled substance, it's not a controlled substance. She successfully gave it to her dog to stop seizures and she's just so distraught about it. Cannabis sativa, the plant, is not illegal. We've been selling it without issue for three years. Meanwhile, Walmart and Amazon sells the same products online. When individuals begin to realize the benefits, the health benefits, how can, how can we go wrong?